And now you can finally start drawing the reinforcement. Keep in mind that reinforcement needs to be in separate drawing file from the cross sections and model drawings in the building structure. So set the drawing number 1000 to active and name it beam reinforcement. The reinforcement will be drawn in cross sections. After proper placing in the cross sections reinforcement will also appear in 3D model. Have in mind that reinforcement cannot be copied from one cross section to another because those are different views. It can only be copied in plain view directly on the model or within the same cross sections. The reinforcement cannot be selected in any other viewport. You can access all the commands for reinforcement in the engineering module under reinforcement tab. For beam reinforcement, we are going to draw closed stirrup and longitudinal bars. First step, go to bar shape command. In palette window, select the desired shape of the bar from the drop down menu. Clicking on three dots icon, you can see the sketch shape of each type and do the selection here. Choose stirrup closed. On the left side, there is a preview of stirrup and its parameters. The mark number is automatically set to 1. Alplan assigns mark number in order. You can change it if you want. Cross section catalog is already selected as bar grade B because we already defined it in the Alplan general options. Leave the diameter as 8 mm. For concrete cover, you can leave the option same concrete cover for all sides as active. But have in mind that you can have different concrete cover on each element side. Set the concrete cover to 2.5 cm. You can also define the hook angle, but leave it for now as it is. Alplan will calculate the hook length and bending pin factor automatically. Zoom on the cross section 1-1. Note how the stirrup fits properly in the cross section. That is because the option Expand to Adapt to Edges is active. With left mouse click, confirm stirrup placement. The hook will be placed depending on the location where you clicked. Second step is Label Placement. In Palette, you can define what your label will contain. Activate all the desired label content. By clicking on three dots icon next to options for text, you can access all the text properties for labels, define the font, height of text, color, etc. Lastly, you have additional option for leaders below. Here you can define the type of leader, tick symbols and their size. Place label somewhere with left mouse click. You can also input the angle of the label. Note that the label is now 0 V8. This is because in fact you did not yet place these stirrups in the beam. You will do it now. Third step is placing the bar shape by drawing the placing line along the element. That means you need to switch to another cross section, in our case cross section 2-2. Input the placing line from one point to the other. Bars will be arranged along this line depending on which option you choose on the schema in the palette. There is one more way to define this using the input option window. If you activate the align option, then the bars will be placed automatically inside the element formwork. This is perhaps the safest way to place the bars inside the element. After you have placed the reinforcement in the longitudinal direction, you can define all its settings in the palette. Change the concrete cover to 2.5 cm. In the reinforcement section, you have the options to input number of pieces or bar spacing. Input 20 cm for spacing. Alplan will automatically calculate the number of pieces based on the spacing you input. You also have several options for edge offset you can choose. If you choose first option, start zero, first stirrup will be placed at the very beginning of the placing line with no offset. Maybe the best way is to use the option start equal end, so that the distance of the bars are equal on both sides. After you have set everything, press the escape key to continue with the command. Fourth step is placing line again. 
In some cases, it will be necessary to lay the reinforcement in another section as well. If it is not necessary, just press the escape key again. Fifth step is labeling the bars in the section tutu. In the palette, you can choose different types of labels in drop-down menu. Below you can choose what your label will contain. Activate all the desired label content. You can access all the additional options for text and leaders below. Comp type will be most suited here, so place it under the stirrups. Note that the label on section 1.1 is now updated and complete. You can now see the stirrups are visible inside the 3D beam. When placing the reinforcement, it is important to follow the command line, because it walks you through every step that need to be done in order to correct place the bars. Thank you for your time and see you in the next video tutorial.